from the tough tracks to the remote tracks, from our campsites to the workshops. Come along and check out Great Off-Road Adventures. Your next episode is just seconds away. Welcome back everybody to another video. This one here is gonna be a little bit different. This is just a video showing you our highlights from our Christmas camping trip. There'll be a little bit of a story attached with it, but at the end of the day, this trip was a holiday for Jess and I. So again, it's not gonna go into the same amount of detail as our trip videos, but we wanted to show you what the trip looked like and share the experience with you nonetheless. So enjoy. Context. It is Christmas Eve and we have headed south from Perth. We've escaped before maybe a lockdown, we don't know, bloody COVID. And uh, we've come down to the south coast and at the minute we're halfway between Ravensthorpe and Esperance. Got a camper trailer, that might be new to you guys. I'm uh, gonna find ourselves a base camp and gonna explore the area. Right now we're at one of the secret spots. Um, and we have We'll show you it as we go. Jess really wants to get to camp before it gets dark. So we'll jump back in and we'll keep keep going trying to find a camp. Cold, I need to put more clothes on. As you know, camping in the southwest or the south coast when it's peak season can be pretty hard to find camp sometimes. So yeah, priority, find camp. We have made it to our camp. Now, this one here, I hate to do it to you guys because I know I like to share um, my trips and help you guys get out there, but this one's a secret spot. Um, it's not that you're not allowed to be there, it's because this is pristine and I actually want to keep this one to myself. If you don't know me personally, uh, don't be offended if I don't tell you where this is. This is, um, this is yeah, just secret spot. Like I said, Christmas Eve, South Coast, Everyone's camping and we've been able to find a few spots that no one's in and that are magical. So yeah, literally river there, camper there. Um, it's gonna be a really awesome little break. My parents are coming down. They're bringing down their camper as well. And they've got a little uh, camper trailer topper boats, a little 3.7 meter tinny. Uh, so yeah, the idea was to get somewhere close to the water and to be honest, I don't think we could have done much better. This is um, this campsite is like what dreams are made of for me. We'll get a camera set up. We'll show you setting up the camper. Uh, we've done it a few times. We've got a little bit of practice with it. And um, yeah, we will get into a bit of camp life. Anyway, Jess is giving me the look. Better hurry up.
So in under half an hour, this is what we've achieved. In fact, it was uh, 26 minutes, I think. I'll put it on the screen anyway. It might've been quicker. I've used 26 minutes of memory on that memory card, so it's somewhere around there. So obviously offloaded the kayaks for one and offloaded a pile of other camping gear. Um, that's some camping gear I brought for my parents just to help them out because they're bringing the, the tinny and all that other stuff. And they're bringing my sister and her partner as well. So they're going four up in their Amarok with the camper trailer. We're only two up. So I've just done a little bit of um, helping, them, helping them out with lightening the load. So yeah, campers set up, floors out, awnings out. We've done the uh, full awning setup. What I mean by that is normally I wouldn't put every single pole out. I'd do alternating poles. That's fine for the darch for uh, an overnighter when there's calm winds because we're gonna be here for, I think it's nine or 10 days in total. Um, got an idea what the winds are gonna do and all that. We've gone for the full setup. Um, so yeah. I'll, I'll go into a bit more detail in another video, the exact full walk around, but that's where we're at now. And ensuite set up over this side. Um, Jess has done that whilst I've done the awning and the floor. So yeah, in um, probably about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes tops. Um, yeah, we're all done. Uh, inside the camper, beds already made. We, we have bedding and everything in the camper permanently. Um, a little uh, couch up the back here is all done. We got some Christmas presents to open tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as I said, bed's up there all done. Fridge is out. I can hear a cold one calling my name. So I'm gonna uh, crack one, set up some camp chairs and take it in. How lucky are we? How lucky are we? So yeah, awesome. I don't think I've come across a better camp spot this year. And that includes all of the gib. I'm ra oh, running waters maybe is, is good. Different activities. Running waters, you know, hot water, can swim right there. Um, but, you know, here, boat, kayaks, all that. So different, uh, different priorities, different activities, but uh, equally as good. There. Well, I've got that beer, the sun's just going down. And uh, Jess and I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. So it's Christmas tomorrow. By the time you guys see this, it'll be sometime in the new year. But uh, our thoughts are with you anyway. Hope you've all had a, a good year. And here's to an even better 2022. Cheers. Cheers. What was my ultimatum for coming camping at Christmas? No, you said we were going camping this Christmas. What did I have to do then? Yeah, I put the ultimatum that it had to feel like Christmas because we go camping all the time and there's a lot of Christmas traditions at home and I wanted to continue them camping, which includes lights and tinsel. So we've got the lights. Cha-ching! And that's now where we're putting the tinsel. I don't know. I want to run them on the awning rails, but that's where you want to put your actual working light so you can see tonight. So I haven't worked it out yet. <laughs> right. So for those wondering how I am running the Christmas lights, um, that was a 20 meter, yep. 20 meter lead of outdoor fairy lights from Bunnings. And I'm just running it through a Coke can inverter, 150 watt. It's just actually a, a modified sine wave. It's not even pure sine wave. It's just modified sine wave, 150 watt inverter. So it'll draw bugger all power. You better run them for a good few hours each night. Um, and yeah, pretty much be no drain on the batteries for the trailer.
Well, we're just gonna uh, head out of camp quick, go and find some phone reception. I love camping without phone reception because I don't get any messages, Instagram notifications, none of that. Um, it's nice and peaceful, but we do need to let my parents know that we've found a camp from where we are. And um, we also want to ring Jess's parents and wish them a Merry Christmas. So yeah, we're just gonna duck out of camp for a few minutes. Um, might even have a look at what's around the area. And then, um, yeah, we'll be back here, I'm pretty sure around lunchtime, start the Christmas feast for dinner. Happy? Yep. Right out. And we spear back to camp. Gotten a bit windy today, which I know it was forecast, but we are quite well protected here by the trees. But nonetheless, um, we're prepping Christmas lunch now, throwing some uh, walls onto the awning just to give us a bit of protection from the wind. But um, I'll give you a look at what we're doing for lunch. Jess was insistent we do prawns, so Jess is cleaning prawns. I've uh, done up a salad, done a bit of a a prawn cocktail style dressing. It's half uh, mayo, half sweet chili sauce. And uh, yeah, got the chairs out of the wind. Christmas lunch served, hey? Can't ask for anything more. Sun's going down now. Jess and I have had enough with the wind. Just swirls through and kicks up a heap of dust and get a bit annoying. <clears throat> so we've re actually retired to in the camper and we're playing some cards. But whilst we're doing that, dinner's also cooking. So turkey's cooking away in the Weber. And we've got some roast veggies to go on in a few minutes. Got some Christmas ham as well to cook up. So. Ham, turkey, veggies, salad, feasting. Well, I um, always say it, but I do honestly think that we eat better camping than we eat at home. And don't really know why. Maybe it's just the nothing else to do. Sure, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you eat better when you're out camping than you do at home, let us know in the comments. Be interesting to know what other people do. sure what to make of today typical south coast blowed its guts out yesterday and now it's cloudy today and there yeah there's it's very calm as there's, there's bugger all wind so yeah, get some nice reflections on the river and enjoy not here in the tent and the canvas flap flap flapping so and i know the people of perth are going through a 40 plus degree heat wave for i think four or five days so yeah, certainly 
not a complaint about the weather, not at all. Um, but this morning, we want to film a few more bits and pieces for you guys. Um, so yeah, we'll get onto that. Well, a quick plug for a couple of my other videos. If you haven't seen them already, we filmed a breakdown on our decision making surrounding the purchase of our camper trailer. And we also did a comprehensive walk around of our 2020 Bigfoot Yeti. So if you want to check out those two videos, you can find the links to them in the top corner and in the description below. Well, Jess and I have done our filming this morning, had some lunch, lazed around this afternoon. And if you can hear the tinkerings of setting up camp in the background, well, this is why. So my parents have joined us. As I said, they were coming down Boxing Day today. They've come down with their Kimberley camper. Uh, they've got the tinny, just the other side of the car. So we've offloaded that, it's ready to go. And my sister and her partner come down with them as well come join us so yeah <clears throat> they're all in the process of setting up their respective tents and camper trailers i'm going to get a beer because i've uh, helped push a camper trailer around and that sort of thing and watch them set up <laughs> perks are getting here early i guess If you're still watching the video now and you're enjoying it, uh, I'll ask you to do us a favor, go down there, hit the like button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, enable notifications by clicking the bell. And don't forget, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as well to see some more behind the scenes content. Well guys, the boat's in the water, the rods are set up, so we're gonna go head out for a fish now on the river. Wish us luck. Fishing is underway, but I uh, haven't had any action or anything as yet. But, uh, like I said, my first time here, don't really know the river, not sure what to expect or anything like that, but um, we're on the boat. We've got Jess and Joe and myself. We've gone a little bit downriver from camp towards the ocean, um, and we're just trying for some black brim. Well, we blanked the first time we went out fishing, but we had more luck the second time. So here's some footage from then. I'm calling it three fish. I'm good to go. Good things only come in three. <laughs> three babies. Three babies.
had a lot of fun this afternoon just playing some games, passing the time. We got to watch the sun go down and um, dinner's underway at the moment. So quick look-see. Uh, Jess is making us a mango, avocado, tomato salad. Very healthy. And for me, uh, I'm on the Weber and we got snaggers. Not sure what the plan is for tomorrow. I think maybe uh, my dad might take the boat out. It is his boat, so he might go for a little bit of a fish tomorrow morning initially, and then um, if the wind picks up again, we might um, go for a bit of a drive and go and check out the coast. So yeah, we'll remain flex with our plans. Anyway, we will. Uh, I'll put you down, we'll run a time lapse, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning everyone welcome back to another day at our five-star camp now the winds dropped down quite a bit so it's a lot more peaceful and we're actually going to take a little trip today from camp just down to the coast see what the coastal area looks like we'll be jumping in the cars and heading off in a sec It's time to wrap up this little highlights video from our Christmas getaway. I do hope you've enjoyed it and if you're new to the channel and you've come and watched all the way through to the end, consider giving us a subscribe and checking out all our cool content that we do have coming up in 2022. Happy safe adventuring everybody, stay safe on the tracks and trails and if we don't see you out there one day, we'll see you in the next video.